What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we're talking about our first um, real, I think, concrete numbers when we're talking about the Ryzen refresh. Now, personally, I was a little let down because if these numbers hold true, then it means that we're not going to be seeing necessarily the performance that we're wanting to, which again, will be less compelling reason for people to buy these CPUs if they currently are on Ryzen. Now, to be fair, we don't know anything 100% but I, I mean, this does seem legitimate to me, so I kind of want to share my point of view. So we got two uh, basically benchmarks released from actual users for the 2600 and for the 2700X. Now, I did already say that I believe that for the new Ryzen lineup, anything that was a 65 uh, TDP was not going to be able to overclock much higher than the current gen due to basically um, power restrictions. And that seems to be the case with the 2600 in this actual user review only being able to hit 4.0 and the 2700X only being able to hit 4.3. Now that does not mean that these CPUs can't be pushed past that, but if we're using that as a baseline, it's definitely to me disappointing because we were hoping to be able to get 4.4, 4.5, 4.6 4.6 in terms of overclocking and if we're not able to do that there's really in my opinion no compelling reason to buy these new cpus now when we're going through the benchmarks when we're taking a look at some of these different numbers it's important to understand that everybody has their own methodology one person's experience can vary greatly to somebody else and there's always the silicon lottery to throw into the mix so what these guys got might not be your experience you might get a better or worse overclock with your own cpus if you choose to uh, choose to buy them and i do and um, you know plan on buying one to at least test out and so I'll have to kind of draw my own conclusions once I have the product in hand. Now we do know that they are going to be releasing for sure on the 19th because uh, Amazon kind of jumped the gun and for like a day you could basically pre-order them there and now you can't so we know that they're probably going to be dropping on the 19th for sure and so um, in terms of the CPUs which we've been waiting for for a refresh temper your expectations that's the whole point of this video um you know initially i had a lot of excitement for these coming out i was hoping to see greater performance gains and to be fair we have seen that with their cpus in terms of multi-threaded and multi-core performance and even in their single core performance has been improved from what it was but if we're not able to get a higher speed on these cores, then to me, it's gonna be kind of a letdown in terms of what I was hoping for versus what they're actually going to show. So anyway, guys, just a quick update on that. If you've been thinking about buying these new CPUs, we should be seeing them any, you know, basically in the next two weeks. But if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Get subscribed, guys, either way. My channel continues to grow. Remember, we hit my 7,500 uh, target for the giveaway, so I'm gonna be dropping that video next week and it's going to be a good one we've done a lot of good giveaways on my channel so make sure you get subscribed hit the bell icon um, so you can see when those videos drop thank you to everyone who participates by using my amazon affiliate links when purchasing stuff through amazon and my patreons and twitch subs guys you are the ones who have had the greatest influence on the quality of these giveaways so if you want to see those continue please continue to use those and support me if you can but i appreciate all of you who continue to watch my videos and everyone who leaves me feedback so leave a comment down below i'll be sure to get back to you and we hope to see you next time here on geared inc